Overwatch 2 just got a small balancing patch and one controversial change is being reverted. Let's have a look. Just as Aaron Keller and Alec Dawson announced yesterday, a small balancing patch for Overwatch 2 was rolled out today. Now the bigger part of the patch notes are reserved for that Halloween limited time game mode, Junkenstein's Laboratory, which apparently has been very popular, which is a very good sign. But I'll come back to that in tomorrow's video, so make sure to subscribe. In today's video I want to focus on the core game mode changes they did. At the start of the season Blizzard did some changes to both Ramata and Sombra that got them yelled at a lot. Now today they are reverting one of those changes and they're pushing through with another one. But before we get to that, let me highlight a general change. Players in wide and narrow groups and those that queue solo will now be in the same matchmaking pool for competitive open queue. So that is not about roll queue, that's only about open queue. It seems that the queue times in open queue are getting a little uh, ridiculous. Now, the tank changes. The first one is a nerf to Orissa, and some people are going to be very happy with this. Her base health was increased from 125 to 175, while her base armor was reduced from 350 to 300. The Fortify no longer reduces fusion driver heat generation, and the energy javelin has its damage reduced from 80 to 70. In the previous updates, they have been slowly bumping her back up into relevance, after they nerfed her into oblivion a few seasons ago. And this update undoes all of the small buffs in one swipe. Well, almost. If I had to take a guess, I would say that this is a high versus low rank issue. Where on low ranks, she had a really low pick rate and a low win rate, so they kept bumping her up every single patch, until something flipped, which made her very effective in top 500, and she became a pain in the tushy. So Blizzard decided to take all of her toys away. And this might not be the end of that saga, just yet. Now, let me skip to Wrecking Ball. The ammo on his quad cannons was increased from 80 to 100, and the duration on his grappling claw was increased from 6 to 8 seconds. Wrecking Ball has been having a bit of a rough time for, for ages now. On the more average levels, there are so few players that manage to get value out of Wrecking Ball, especially for their team. On higher elos, he definitely does better, but he still kind of struggles to get kills in, so these changes might help with that. Alright, let's move on to the big one, Ramata. His pommel was reverted, so he is piercing barriers again, and he can no longer deal critical damage to barriers. So yeah, that is a complete reversal of all those changes that they did at the start of the season. A revert. And that is because overall Romatra players did not seem to enjoy these changes. Now I don't know if they saw a shift in the win rate, but I definitely think they saw the pick rate drop. And that is not necessarily a performance issue. It could also be a perception thing. But in the end, the result is the same. They reverted to changes. For Sombra, however, they are sticking to their guns. The ultimate cost on her EMP was reduced by 10%. Now for her translocator, the delay before entering stealth was reduced from 0.5 to 0.33 seconds. The fading time was reduced from 0.3 to 0.15 seconds. And hack will now disrupt stealth when hacking an enemy target. They are really trying to make this new version of Sombra as comfortable as possible, both for the Sombra players and her opponents. Now, I personally think that net this is going to be a buff. It will depend on your rank and your playstyle. The faster I ult, the shorter delay, the shorter fade in, those are going to be buffs. The style being interrupted, yeah that is a nerf, but you can work around that. If you're smart, if you know how to play Sombra properly, it might not be that much of an issue. While for the enemy supports, it's going to be a little easier. But there's no big revert back to perma styled. Good. Look, sorry, I know a lot of you will disagree with me, but I think this Samba is healthier for the game in general. Now, the final change hit me a little personally, but I knew it was coming. It was bound to happen. Juno. The healing on her orbital ray was reduced from 100 to 85 health per second. At this point, when I'm playing support, I play Juno. That's it. It's insane how much fun I'm having with that hero. And besides her being so much fun, she is extremely strong. Even after that nerf at the start of the season that I was slightly worried about, I still did an insane amount of healing. On par with both Life Fever and Mercy, while boosting my team and getting some kills in. And a big part of that boosting and healing was my ultimate. The big beam from the sky. Seriously, when you see your Juno popping that beam, there's only one place you need to be and that's right in there. It will heal you like crazy and boost your damage. It is so good. Uh, starting today, it's going to be a little less good, especially the healing. So yeah, I'm slightly worried again. But on the other hand, like I said, it was bound to happen. I was just having too much fun. I'm sorry. Nah, we'll be fine. <laughs> but that was it for this update. Look, them doing a balancing update just mere weeks before the mid-season patch, that's impressive and quite exceptional. It shows that they're listening. What is even more exceptional is that they're actually balancing a limited time game mode that only has one more week to go. Seriously, this is huge. I have so much to say about that, but that's going to be for tomorrow's video. 
So make sure to subscribe. But tell me, what do you think about the Ramatra and the Sombra changes? Let me know in the comments. For now, however, that was it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It always helps me out. I also want to thank my patrons. I could not make these videos without you guys. You have my eternal gratitude. And you too can become part of the Omnic Post family over on patreon.com slash the Omnic Post. If you have a few minutes left, maybe check out this video. Click it. But above all, take care of yourself, take care of each other. Bye bye.